Oh, hi. I didn't notice you. I was just reading this book of cool people. You know, Ozzy Osbourne, Chuck Norris, and of course, let's not forget, Greg Denisenko. But before all of them, there was this gentleman, Jack Churchill, the craziest war hero you've ever seen. Lieutenant Colonel John Malcolm Thrope Fleming, Jack Churchill, nicknamed as Fighting Jack Churchill and Mad Jack, was born on the 16th of September 1906 in Ceylon, present-day Sri Lanka. Mad Jack was a British soldier during World War II, known for his eccentrics, including a longbow, bagpipes, and a basket-hilted hilted Scottish broadsword. Mad Jack Churchill served in the British Army from 1926 to 1936, then again from 1939 to 1959. After Hitler invaded Poland, Mad Jack re-entered the army, starting his eccentric escapades in, around Europe. In May 1940, Churchill and his unit ambushed the German patrol. Churchill gave the signal to attack by cutting down the enemy sergeant with a barbed arrow. As the Germans approached, he said, I'm going to shoot that first German with an arrow. He became the only British soldier known to have foiled an enemy with a longbow in World War II. After France finally fell to the Nazis, Mad Jack was sent to fight in Norway. As the ramps fell on the first landing craft, Mad Jack leapt forward from his position before throwing a grenade and running into battle with his sword. For his actions at Dunkirk and Vagsoy, Mad Jack received a military cross and bar. In 1943, Mad Jack was sent to fight in Italy. He was ordered to capture a German observation post outside the town of Molina. With the help of a corporal, he infiltrated the town and captured the post, taking 42 prisoners, including a mortar squad. In 1944 in Yugoslavia, a mortar shell killed or wounded all except Mad Jack. He was knocked unconscious with a grenade and captured. He was sent to Sachsenhausen concentration camp. In September 1944, he and a Royal Air Force officer tried to escape. However, they were captured soon after they left the camp. Even though Mad Jack retired in 1959 with two awards of the Distinguished Service Order, his eccentrics still continued, though on a smaller scale. For example, every day he would startle passengers on a train and conductors by throwing his briefcase out of the moving train on the way home. He claimed that it was to save himself time uh, because he would have to carry the briefcase home anyway.